parenting essentials for this week. This is the home of key strategies to parenting. You are welcome. On today's episode, I will give you more points on how you can stop your toddler from eating. Let's get started. On last episode, I gave three points on how you can help your child or how you can control your child, your toddler, to stop eating. So, if you have not seen the last episode, finish watching this one, then go back and watch the last episode because I gave three points from last episode. And on this episode, I'm going to give more points. So, number four point on how you can help your toddler to stop eating. Set a simple but a firm limit. Don't forget that toddlers don't understand the comprehension of our principles or where you're, which one is right or the virtues. They don't understand all these things. So make sure that you set a simple but firm limit. You can tell your toddler that is eating you or the siblings or friends that it is not allowed to eat. And if your toddler continues eating, you can just remove your toddler from the scene of that eating. Don't forget that when your toddler is big or grown, you will not be able to remove your child from the scene anymore. So that is why it's very important for you as parent to teach your child now on how not to eat. Another thing you have to ensure that is in place is for you to have a calm voice, a calm face, and a calm body. It is very important for you to model this. Modeling a calm face, a calm voice, and a calm body when you are actually upset with what your child has done is a good way for you to teach your toddler that hidden is not accepted. Another point that you have to do is to connect with your child. They don't just eat for no reasons. There are reasons why toddler eat. It's always happened due to frustration. Something went wrong and they can't express themselves verbally. Even if you tell your child, stop eating. That can be stopped for a while, but if the need is not met, if you don't find out the reason behind the action, it will happen sooner or later. So it's very important for you as a parent to find out what the problem is. The problem might not really make sense to you as an adult, but to the child, it is very, very important. It might be due to maybe you feel like the child feels neglected, or if the child just had a younger one, a little baby sister, big brother, the child might feel you are holding on to the baby too much and he or she is not getting enough attention as always. It might be because the child cannot wait to take turns. Maybe they're playing with friends and the child is feeling I'm waiting forever. I cannot wait anymore. And that result in eating. That's frustration. That's a good point for a child. It might not make sense to a grown up. So how can we help? A toddler to recover from this is for you to connect first. Let your child see you as a friend, a person I can look on to and trust. So that is why you have to maintain the calm face, the calm voice, and the calm body. So you give listening ears. If you want your child, your toddler, to always listen to you, don't forget they cannot comprehend a lot of principles. So they learn a lot from the facial expressions, from the gesture, the body language. So you have to ensure that you are giving a listening ears. Just tell, I think you're upset because it just let that be empathy. Show emotional connection. Connect with your child and show empathy. Uh, just give reasons why you think the child has done that. So the child will feel so I'm not alone. Mommy is feeling my pains. That is feeling my pains. By the time you're trying to explain why your child shouldn't do it, the child will give listening yes because you showed empathy 
an emotional connection to your child and feel the waiting was too long and you couldn't handle it anymore. This might take you to sit on the floor if you can with your child. Connect. Let that be a connection. You are helping your child to grow emotionally. That is a big emotional growth and emotional development that is happening when this is being done. So, then you can ask your child, How do, can you see that your friend is sad? Why do you think your friend is sad? So, don't just, don't just punish. A lot of parents jump into punishment. But in this kind of situation, punishment does a lot of harm. It is not time to punish a child. Try as much as possible to connect with your child. Try to explain, try to find out the reason. Try to ask the toddler why the friend or you are sad. And try to explain that hands are not for eating. If your child is doing this consistently, you're trying to, because at this point, most toddlers don't even know what is called time out. Time out might not work for you, but if you see that your calm voice, your face is calm, your body language is calm, you're trying to be at your child's level, maybe on the floor or you're squatting or you're giving a lot of empathy and your child keeps repeating this same thing by eating you or the friends, then you can just hold the child's hand for a while that the child will not be able to let go of the hand. And you let your child know that the hand is not for eating. So, when you eat, your hand gets stuck. It gets stuck. So, when you see that your child wants to do that again, then you can use language. Don't forget the hand are not for eating. When we eat others, our hand gets stuck. So, ensure that you do this with a calm voice, a calm face look, a calm body language. And this is going to help your child a lot to understand that eating is not allowed. I want you to know that empathy makes your child's brain grow. Don't rush into solution. You need to find out ways you can help your child with that uncomfortable feelings. You have to mold it every time at this time that your child is facing this challenge. You have to ensure there is calmness with everything you do around the house, with the child. Modeling is the best way you can teach your child. It can be by deep breathing. It can be by teaching your child how to walk away from that frustration. It can be through any means. Most important thing is for you to stay connected with your child. Understand your child's frustration and see how you can be of help. I believe you've been able to get few points on how you can teach your child to stop eating. And I'll be coming your way next week with another fantastic parenting skills. Don't forget that all our videos are available on our YouTube channel. And there are many more goodies apart from parenting essentials on the table of the vision guide. So I implore you to go and subscribe if you have not done so. Just click the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell. So anytime we upload a new video, you can get notified. Thank you for joining me once again. And if you see me for the first time, thank you for seeing this beautiful face. And I'm sure your face is beautiful also. And my name is Oye, Oye Lyo. I am your parenting coach. I'll see you next week on another amazing and fantastic episode on parenting essential. Thank you for your time. Thank you for staying to the end. Bye for now. Don't forget I love you. Be blessed.